Hi, my name is Jacora, and if you're here and you're on my channel, it's because you love all things bougie on a budget. We do D we do DH Gate links down below. Just download the DH Gate app and follow my links. We do inspired looks, inspired Prada times Adidas, inspired Adidas times Gucci. Fendi times Versace, Nike times Louis Vuitton. So if those are things that you're interested in, you should stop right now, like, subscribe, and please share. So today, my outfit of today was my rose gold Telfar. I do have links down below. This is a authentic, but if you're interested in something from DHG, I do have links for that my Sperry boots because it was raining and just a old navy pair of jeans and a top this is pretty old by the way but it's so nice for the first days of spring so my gucci collection i have a vintage atache which i've already started sanding down the back and we're going to do a video on reconstructing this strap it's too thick is too crackly whoever redid it i don't think they did the best job and i'm going to try to do it again smooth out some of these cracks condition it and see if i can do better if i can't then i'll just send it out to be professionally done i do have a couple of videos that i'm going to do on reconstructing bags mainly just the straps painting them smoothing them back out um, so if you're interested in that, you want to subscribe. I am also going to be doing a makeup tutorials. Um, it was asking me to do that and what I carry in my bags. So we have that. This is my vintage Gucci Atache, and I do have a video on this with links to more of this if you're interested. So you can watch that review. This is my vintage Gucci bamboo tote that I just added a strap from Etsy. I have my Etsy strap video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you watch that one. And I have my vintage Gucci Diana bamboo. No, this is just a vintage Gucci bamboo. This is Gucci Diana bamboo. And this is just vintage bamboo, Gucci bamboo. And so again, in this one, I have some DH8 straps as well. So I have a blue strap and a green strap, a chain strap, cream strap, and a brown strap. And you can see those on my Etsy strap videos. My Gucci collection is almost complete. I believe we will be completing my Gucci collection today. It's not too many other Gucci bags that I want. I do love these and would love these in different colors. But if someone said my Gucci com collection had to stop today, I think I would be okay with that. I think these are the staples. So what do you guys think is my last bag in the con collection? Really think about it. Let me know in the comment section what did you think was going to be my next in this collection. All right, let's see if you guys are right. So I already unboxed everything for us. I, you know, opened it up. So you wouldn't, I wouldn't bore you with that. This is eBay, it's not eBay authenticated. I don't think any of these are, this was Poshmark. I don't think any of these bags were eBay authenticated, but um, I trust that they are vintage because of the quality. Thank you for your purchase and I also check the rating. So when you're, on ebay on ebay make sure you check the ratings so it says thank you for your purchase we're sure we're sure you will enjoy your beautiful item please check our store again thank you john so nice little card and receipt this bag was 313 another thank you and they have another website called www.appleproject.net so i'll put that down below and let's see if you guys guessed correctly. I'm always scared to get a vintage bag. I'm scared of the quality, making sure that it actually looks like the pictures. So it came in bubble wrap and people from eBay usually wrap pretty well. 
I do usually shop from mostly the same suppliers. I usually buy from Japan. You can usually trust Japan. Japanese sellers. And why doesn't why doesn't your your Quora buy dupes? Your Quora doesn't buy dupes anymore unless they don't come in vintage and I can't afford them now. Really got to have it. I don't buy them because they don't sell. I mostly do my channel for single mothers or people who don't have a, a large income but love luxury, love nice things, like to be in style. I do these videos for you guys. I know what it's like to be a single mom. I know what it's like to want things and can't have. So I do this for y'all, you all. With that, I've also wanted to share with you all that we have to buy and, and spend our money on things that are investments. As a mother, if something was to happen to my finances, these bags, I can sell them and get money back for them. When it comes to dupes, you cannot sell them on eBay, Poshmark. No one really wants to buy your used dupe bag, okay? But these are all worth something and I can get money on them. So we have to start investing. And I know some of us want the new, um, you know, designer, nice looking things, but we're really wasting our money um, if we decide later on that we don't want those bags anymore. And is the quality really there? Is it worth it? This bag was 313. It's the cheaper than some of these dupes. And I'm getting the real thing and I can sell it. We sell it probably for 600 and someone will buy it. So let's go over it. Let's go over it. And boop, boop, this is what I got. Did you guys guess? You gotta have this. You gotta have this in your collection. The navy Gucci print, Ofida. You gotta have the navy Ofida print. This is the brown Ofida print. That's like the, the usual Gucci color and that's another nice color for Gucci. So you gotta have the Ofida blue. So here we have the blue and red stripe that was a must for me you see the hardware with gucci back in the day was very minimal if you look at my other bags there are no indications on them that they are gucci i added that charm on there so that people would know it's gucci but the charms are very minimal and i'm okay with that sometimes you don't want people all in your business knowing what you're carrying but the stripe and the gucci speaks for itself i love the little detail on the zipper you don't get that with newer things you get other things but you don't get those cute little dangly zippers all of these have cute little dangly zippers on the inside funny thing about vintage most of them are just ykk zippers um my telfar telfar bag just has a ykk zipper um the thing about old straps they are not removable so this is not removable but it still gives that look so i did like that for that reason it still gives that removable strap look um yeah so the leather looks good i don't it doesn't look like i have to treat this the only issue that they stated on the web was this split right here which is hardly noticeable but i can try to get some glue and some reinforcement and just paint over that but it's really not a problem. And it is on this side a little bit as well, if you guys can see. But I don't think it's a big issue. Let's work on this lighting. All right, so you see that. Now let's look at the inside. The inside is a little worn. These materials that they used back in the day, I guess they didn't know they weren't going to last. Some of them get sticky, some of them start to peel. Oh, the zipper needs a little bit of Jesus. So here we have a problem with a little problem with a zipper and that might just be the zippers fine from the outside but from right here oh they didn't tell me the zipper was a little wonky so i might have to get this to out to um or maybe put some oil on it i'll try to put some oil on it maybe that'll help but i might have to go get this zipper replaced because it's yeah that shouldn't be all right, so here's the inside. As you can see, it's a little, you guys see that worn? But again, who's looking inside this bag but me? And there are people who um, will fix this for me. And here we have a, a pocket. We have the Gucci tag. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a nice amount of space in here. 
So yeah, I'm gonna put some oil on this zipper and see if that helps. See, it closes nicely. The zipper closes nicely. Let's try it one more time. Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened, but it's working now. Maybe it just was a little oil. Okay, there it is. It's good now. Always read the description before you buy anything, but this is really looking good. Okay, what do you guys think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I will let you know that what I really wanted was the vintage. I really wanted the vintage dye blondie. I really wanted the vintage blondie. But guys, they're asking for $5,000 for the vintage blondie in this color, Ophita Blue. And I'm like, I can buy two brand new ones for that price. Um, so it's a little silly. But this kind of gives a little bit of the same hobo-y um, messenger look. It's more of a hobo than a messenger, but I think it kind of meets in the middle. It's not totally a hobo. I also like the Ophita hobo, the new one. Here's the Ofita Hobo. I honestly like the shape of my bag better and this strap is not detachable as well. This is the new Blondie. It's so beautiful. It has three straps. The solid blue strap is very similar to the strap on my Hobo. And the third strap you see here that has the blue red. I'll insert a picture of that. That was another option. Um, so I think this is closest to that hobo, the Ofita hobo that's just $1,200. The Gu um, Gucci Blondie is like three, four, you know, 5,000. So yeah, I mean, 1,200 is not that bad, but if I can get this for 313, why not? And it looks like the hardware on here was gold and there are some screws on here where I can take the hardware off. Do you guys see the screws where I can take the hardware off? And so what I might do is take the hardware off and re-dip. I won't be able to re-dip this, but maybe there's some paint I can use to redo it, but it doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me. None of that bothers me. So I was wondering if we could do a little trick. If I could possibly, okay, let's use the blue. Which this has the white on it, but it's not too bad. I can maybe find one that has that. Those things don't bother me. I mean, Gucci is doing that now anyway. So I'm going to clip this to here, and this has the little clips. Again, I have videos on these. See if it works, and it does work. So let's make sure it's not all crooked. And then I can clip that one to this side. That's what I did. Like, that's one of the reasons why I got this bag, because you can't do this with the blondie. You know, you have the option to try to have a different strap. And so then I can kind of throw that behind and look at that. How is that not a Gucci Blondie? Let's come over here. That's similar to a Gucci Blondie, guys. I think it kind of gives the same look. And then when I add this strap on it, I can do a crossbody. What do you guys think? Give me a yes or no in the comment section. Let me know what you think. It kind of matches my outfit I have on today. And I have the red Adidas. You can look back at my red Gazelle Adidas and my Gucci times Adidas inspired video that will go nicely with these or I could get the blue ones. But that's dope. That's definitely nice and it looks new and you can't even really see that strap padding back there. And I was thinking this strap also might tuck inside. I don't think it will, but it looks fine in the background. It looks fine in the background. And then you still have, if you put this on the back, if you take this from the front and you put it on the back, you can still put a chain on the front. And I do have a chain. Let's try that. 
can still put a chain on the front with this strap still in the back. This is longer, but I think they do sell shorter. And again, I do have reviews on this. So let's just imagine this was, you know, a shorter chain. And you could also do that. And look how cute that is. Or you maybe you could tuck it down in, you know, just kind of play with it. You could probably tuck that inside the purse. But I'm sure they sell, you know, shorter ones. But just imagine. That's cute. You can't even tell that this is old once you dress it up. And then we could also do it with just the chain. If you like. And there are some top handles um, that you can get. Like the newest Blondie has a little short top handle so that you can carry it as a tote. And I'm sure you can find that too. This bag is vintage from the Gucci Sherry line. It is more accessible, but as you can see, the straps do not look detachable and they start to kind of wear right there where the corners meet the strap. But this one is more popular and accessible. It is hard to find the one that I have, but I think mine looks a lot better and more modern. All right, guys, I'm so happy with my Gucci collection. I feel like I can definitely stop at this point. I have a nice collection. I'll try to link the videos to my old videos on these reviews down below for you. Make sure you check out my DH Gate links. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. It does have that little brassy smell to it, though. I'm going to have to let it sit with some smoke goods. I also have a video on how to get the vintage smell out.